When a person becomes paralyzed, a level of their independence is also robbed from them. And that affects us psychologically and our spirits. There's a part of us that dies. I've been trying to visualize myself a contraption that would enable me to get up and walk. I thought, well, is it going to be an avatar, perhaps a robot? And then I received the phone call to try this new technology, the e-legs. I've heard from so many people that the first thing that they encounter after an injury uh, or an amputation uh, is the word no. And I think we are demonstrating here that there is no such word as no. In 2005, when Berkeley Bionics was founded, we entered a license agreement with the University of California to commercialize the innovative exoskeleton technology that was developed at the Robotics and Human Engineering Laboratory. ELEX is, as an engineer, one of the most satisfying projects to work on because it's an integration of so many interesting talents, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, programming control, and really when you bring all those aspects together, that's when you get a really innovative product. To take my first step in the e-legs was just astounding because I bent my knee for the first time in 18 years and I placed my heel on the ground and then I transferred my weight and then I took another step and another one and it was so natural and that was what really gripped me. In my field of spinal cord injury, uh, we work with people who typically are paralyzed for the rest of their life. For the first time in history, we can start to think about giving movement back. This can become the first uh, rehabilitative device. After someone's injured, they go from walking right back to walking. While they still have the muscle memory within them, they're able to power up and walk in a very safe, tethered environment. But to keep those muscles firing, to weight bear on their legs, keep the blood circulating, their digestive systems working well, there's huge therapeutic benefits for this device that then will become a preventative measure in the long term because our bodies are meant to be walking upright and moving. In the future, we will introduce another device that is specially designed for homes. That device will actually allow you to step in it in the morning, go and have your breakfast, then you drive off to work, even wearing it. You can walk in the park, you can go with your friends to the ball game, and it's uh, pretty much your companion during the whole day. The most exciting possibility for the e-legs for me is to take it outside into the real world. I'm not meant to be in my wheelchair, sitting down and rolling. I'm going to be tall in my body, to walk on sidewalks, to go into a restaurant. I'm doing it! <laughs> but most importantly, to hike in nature. This is not a wave of the future. The e-legs is happening right now. I don't have to be hopeful. This is reality. My mother's watching now. I've got to make well, we sure that my shirt's not creased and, you know, <laughs> all the really important things. My mother's 82 and she still hits me with a wooden spoon. Yeah, the good thing is now I don't feel it.
Diego in uh, Carlsbad after when I first went to Project Warp. I always, always felt guilty about at the end of the, the talk I gave to us chat and I said to everyone I'd find a way to walk again and um, this is not exactly what I had in mind at the time. And I always felt bad about saying that and making that promise to everyone there and I always just truly believed one day I would find a way and today here I am so it's pretty amazing. It might be one of the only promises I've kept but at least I kept that one. <laughs> critiquing everyone walking, watching everyone walking, going, oh, yeah. I've never thought about that. Oh, no. I always believed I would find some way to walk again, and even though it isn't exactly what I had in mind when I first started out, I'll take it with both hands and smile all the way. It was fantastic. And I know the greatest thing is that how I feel right now, I'll be able to one day let other people, hopefully at home, feel that way. And that is the real magic behind it. Not actually something for me, but in five years' time, we'll be able to share that with all the people that I talk to, and they're so devastated, and they so want hope, and they so want something to believe in, and now they really will have something to believe in. And if I can somehow share the opportunity to to bring that and help them feel what I just felt now, I'll take the injury all day long because my life before the injury, I could have never had that kind of an effect on anyone or changed anyone's life or profoundly affected them. And this will absolutely change so much for so many and sort of to be part of that is really overwhelming. <laughs> 